I want to go over the bracket for Division One men's basketball if you haven't seen it already. The number one seed, I'm going to start the top left and go to the right, then to the bottom of the bottom right, then to the bottom left. So Alabama is the one seed. They take on either Texas A&M Corpus Christi or Southeast Missouri State. So in a 16 game, I mean, depending on what happens there. Obviously, that's a play-in game. The 8th seed, Maryland, will take on the 9th seed, West Virginia. The 5th seed, San Diego State, will take on the 12th seed, Charleston. The 4th seed, Virginia, takes on the 13th seed, Furman. The 6th seed, Creighton, takes on the 11th seed, NC State. The 3th seed, Baylor, takes on UC Santa Barbara. The 14th seed, the 7th seed, Missouri, they take on the 10th seed, Utah State. Arizona is the two seed. They take on the 15th seed, Princeton. Now, Houston is the one seed, but we we don't know the status on Marcus Sasser at all right now. It, whether or not he's going to play, because it does affect how far can they go. They take on North Northern Kentucky. The, the eight, the 16th seed. The eighth seed is Iowa. The ninth seed is Auburn. The five seed is Miami, Florida. The 12 seed is Drake. Indiana is the four seed. They take on Kent State. The six seed is Iowa State. They take on either the winner of the Mississippi State and Pittsburgh game. The three seed is Xavier. They take on the 14 seed, Kennel South State. The seven seed, Texas A&M, takes on the 10 seed, Penn State. The two seed, Texas, takes on the 15 seed, Colgate. You better not lose lose to a a toothpaste named School Texas. That would be bad. <laughs> okay, the one seed is Kansas. They take on the 16 seed Harvard. I mean Howard. The eight seed is Arkansas. They take on the nine seed Illinois. That's a trick. That's a toss up to me. And I could very well see Kansas could potentially. I'll, Arkansas can be a challenge but I don't think they're gonna lose to them but Illinois you never know you never know the 5 seed St. Mary's will take on the 12 seed VCU the 4 seed Yukon will take on the 13 seed Iona the 6 seed TCU takes on the winner of the Arizona State and Nevada game as 11 seed the 3 seed is Gonzaga they take on the 14 seed Grand Canyon University the seven seed is Northwestern. They take on the ten seed Boise State. The two seed UCLA will take on UNC Asheville. I do think UCLA could very well fall early, like Sweet Sixteen, maybe round of thirty-two, depending on the matchup. But I just don't see Elite Eight for them with that season-ending injury right now. I just don't see it. The one seed. Is Purdue they take on the 16 seed Texas Southern or Farley Dickinson? The 8 seed is Memphis, they take on the 9 seed Florida Atlantic. The 5 seed Duke will take on the 12 seed Oral Roberts. Yeah, they were the 15 seed last time. They made it to the Sweet 16. Nobody's going to be surprised if they make a little bit of a run here. The 4 seed Tennessee, which I know they have a Season ending injury. They better watch out for Louisiana though. They need to be careful. The six seed Kentucky takes on the eleven seed Providence. The three seed Kansas State loses. Uh, three seed Kansas State will take on the fourteen seed Montana State. The seven seed Mich Michigan State it takes on the ten seed USC. The two seed Marquette takes on the fifteen seed Vermont. So I'm going to go over. My bold predictions in a different video since it's getting a little, little long on this. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. And see you guys later. It's fine. Scribes are on the road to it. Let's go.